YTBC what's the deal. So I want to do just a quick, drop this quick video to trying to get people's opinion about this. And I've been thinking about this for a while, man. Um, Out of all the heavyweights that are fighting right now, who do you guys think is the most, I don't want to say intriguing matchup, but when the smoke clears, what fight do you think is going to be the fight for all the marbles? The fight that's going to tell us who's going to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Let's just say the next two, about, let's say two years. I think the fight, and I could be wrong because this dude might lose on May 21st, but I, I edged him in my prediction video. Please go check that out if you haven't, but I edged Deontay Wilder over Pavekin, all right? Now, this changes so much, man, because there's so much going on in heavyweight right now. There's, <clears throat> there's just so much talent right now, man. At first, I was saying the fight that I think is going to be, and this was like a month or two ago, I, I was saying Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Now, the other guy that I'm going to pair with Deontay Wilder, I've often called him a prospect. And I know, and that's why I said about two years from now, maybe a year and a half, about two years from now. Now, Regardless if this fight take place or not, even if these guys don't fight each other, there are so many mixes and matches, man, that you can pair, you know, Fury, Ortiz, Ortiz, Joshua, uh, Deontay Wilder, Joseph Parker, you know, Takam versus uh, Jennings. I mean, you can just mix and match and pair all of these guys, man. But um, the fight that I think is the most explosive fight, I think is going to be the most entertaining fight. Not necessarily the buildup, because <laughs> Tyson Fury and anybody is going to be a great buildup. But I could be wrong. I guess we'll visit this in the next you know year or two. But the fight that I think is going to blow, that's going to just blow the roof off, man, is going to be Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, especially if they both continue to be undefeated. Um, just stylistically. Now, I personally think Tyson Fury can beat Anthony Joshua right now, today, if they were to fight. I think he could beat him by fighting off his back foot, tying him up when he has to. That's a whole nother, whole nother video, but that's just my opinion right now, today. But maybe a year or two from now, I'm not sure, man, because Anthony Joshua... You know, when you look at him, it's just hard to look past him, man. It's, it's very hard to look past him. But there are some flaws there that I think they can be exploited. But there's flaws in all these heavyweights that I think they can be exploited. So I'm not going to discredit him for that. I still think he's moving up the ranks. But this has changed for me over the last, you know, like I said, two, three, four months. First, I was saying it's going to be Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker. That's going to be the fight. Then I said Fury and Wilder, and I, you know, but I really think it's going to be Wilder and Joshua, man. I think that's going to be the fight that's going to be a pay-per-view success. I know Ortiz versus Joshua will be another great fight. There's a lot of them, you know, maybe Huey Fury paired with somebody in the next few years. But I think it's going to be Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. That's the fight, man. That's the fight right there. You guys let me know what you think. You tell me what do you think is going to be the fight that's going to just, you know, get the huge pay-per-view success, that's going to get all the media attention, that's going to be a fight for the ages, man, that's going to go down in the history books as one of the best fights from two of the best fighters in this generation of fighters, um, or this era of, of fighters, of heavyweights. I'm going with Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, man. For some reason, I think when it's all said and done, both these guys are going to be undefeated going into a big unification fight for all the marbles i could be wrong but in about two years time i think that might be the fight like i said first i was going with wilder and fury but i just when i look at everybody look at all these heavyweights and then i went with joshua and parker you know what i mean but i think when it's all said and done it's going to be wilder and joshua and even if these guys meet up down the road and they both have a loss of peace maybe i just think when they fight and then I seen Joshua, he got his, you know, he signed to Showtime, get his feet wet with a U.S. network. We know Wilder's with Showtime. 
I think that's the fight, man. I think it's going to be Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. I know there's a lot of prospects coming up, but that's the fight. I think that's the fight. You guys let me know what you think. And just because I said this doesn't mean it's going to happen. I could be totally fucking wrong. It might be, you know, <laughs> Tyson Fury and Joseph Parker or something. It could, it could be anything. You know what I mean? But I, but what I think is going to be Wilder and Joshua. You guys let me know what you think, though, man. Let me know what fight you think is going to be the biggest fight for heavyweights in this, you know, new class of fighters. Klitschko's still around, you know, but I think his reign of dominance is over. He had his run. It was a beautiful run. Um, second second longest run to Joe Lewis. Um, third most consecutive title defenses at the division. So let me know what you think, man. YTBC.